back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to address the question of can you keep just one rat? Now the simple answer to this is no you can't. You should never house rats by themselves. I'm first going to tell you why that is and secondly I'm going to tell you some of the circumstances that may lead to a rat living by itself. Now this is probably going to be one of the most important videos I ever make because it's something that I, along with 99% of other rat owners, really strongly believe in so please stick around until the end of the video to make sure you're as well informed as possible. So why should you not house rats alone? In the wild they are really social animals and they live in really large groups. Now these groups are made up of males and females and within these groups they will have closer bonds with some individuals than others, kind of like how me and you would have a best friend. Now like us, rats are social animals so Look at it from our perspective, if you had to live your entire life in your bedroom, never interacting with another human being, there really wouldn't be much of an existence, and although rats' lifespans are relatively short, living this entire lifespan by themselves is a really miserable way to live. Now you may think that keeping a rat by themselves or keeping them in a group is a decision or a choice that you can make, but it's actually necessary for your rat's health to keep them in pairs or a group. When you take on an animal, whether you're buying it or adopting it, you're taking on that animal and all their requirements and needs. You're taking on the role of giving this animal a happy and healthy life. Providing with social partners, if they are social animals, is a requirement, and if you're depriving them of this, then you're depriving them of the appropriate care. No, your rats won't die if you do keep them by themselves, but they won't have the best quality of life they can. It's not just about whether they live or die, it's about whether they have a good quality of life, which you're supposed to provide them with. Now it's been scientifically proven that rats living alone have higher levels of depression-like hormones in their brains than rats that are living in groups. So if you are keeping a rat by themselves, chances are they do have very high levels of depression and it's not really a good way for them to be living. Even laboratories which you'd imagine to keep rats in pretty bad conditions have actually caught on to this welfare issue and are keeping rats in groups instead of keeping them by themselves. So why might a rat be kept by themselves? I'm going to go through some of the circumstances which may have led you or others to keeping rats by themselves to kind of debunk some of these things and give suggestions as to what you can do. Now the most common one is that you yourself have been sold one rat. Now if you do go to a pet store, not all pet stores but some pet stores will sell you just one rat and this is not because this is the right thing to do, this is because oftentimes the employees don't really know how to properly care for rats. Now if you have landed yourself a single rat from a pet store, please consider getting it a friend of the same gender. It doesn't matter what stage of life your rat is at, what age or what gender they are, they will really appreciate a friend, although it is easier to get them a friend towards the beginning of their life because this is the age where they're more accepting of other rats and it's easier to introduce them. It also doesn't matter if your rats are not siblings, I've seen this a couple times where people say that rats can only be housed together if they are siblings, this isn't true, they will accept strangers if you use the right methods of introduction, it just takes a little bit more time. Of course it is better to originally go out and get two rats to begin with, most likely they will be siblings and it will make things a lot easier. If you're looking to introduce rats and how to do this, I'll leave my video linked somewhere up here of how I introduce my rats and some methods you can use to introduce them successfully. Now another reason I've seen people say they've only got one rat is because they've chose to go out and only get one because they think that their human company is going to be enough. Unfortunately this is not the case and you can't provide your rat with all the social stimulation that it needs. Whether you're sleeping, at school or work, you can't be with your rat all the time. Even if it is possible for you to spend 24 hours with your rat, you're still not going to be able to give it what it needs. You can't groom it the way another rat would, you can't communicate with it in a way another rat would, and you also can't sleep with it and play with it, cuddle with it, all these things that another rat could provide, you can't provide for them. Now a lot of people tell me they do have one rat and that this rat is happy by itself. Unfortunately we can't judge how an animal is feeling because they can't tell us how they're feeling. What we do know is what scientifically has been proven and that is that rats that are housed alone are more depressed than rats that are housed in groups so naturally are going to be less happy than rats that are kept in groups so even if you think your rat may be happy by themselves chances are they are actually feeling some sort of depression because they are not being able to interact with their own species. Another reason why people may keep rats by themselves is that you think by having one rat it may love you more than if you had two. Now oftentimes bringing home just one rat can actually be counterproductive towards bonding with them. If you're bringing home more than one rat they can support each other on the journey home, they can support each other being in this new and familiar environment. If a single rat doesn't have this it may spend the majority of its time hiding from you, being fearful and in the long run it may make it really difficult for you to actually bond with this rat. Again it's been scientifically proven that rats that are housed alone are actually more fearful of new stimuli and new situations so bringing home a new rat into a new environment is a very scary thing and if they're doing this by themselves it will make it more difficult for you to actually bond with them. And having two rats is actually a benefit because they will compete with each other for your attention, which can make you feel a lot more wanted and loved in the long run. 
Another reason I see people saying that they only want to get one wrap is because two wraps are a lot more work. Now personally from my experience and many other people's experiences, this is not true. In terms of things that you'll need for wraps, most of the times things you'll need for one wrap is the same as things you'll need for two wraps. Now this is true for the size of cage that you'll need. A cage that is suitable for one wrap will also be suitable for two wraps. Having two wraps also doesn't cost you much more money than having one. And in fact, the benefits of keeping them in groups or pairs will be worth it because they will have better health in the long run. If a rat is stressed because they are living by themselves, then they can be much more prone to having illnesses, which will cost you more money in the long run. You also don't have the added worry of having to give your rat attention all the time because they have each other to give each other attention. So if you are having a particularly busy day, you don't really have to worry about that because they can provide each other with attention. Now one other situation where people may be left with on the rat is if their other rat has died. Now this is a really sad situation, something that I personally have been left in and a lot of other people have experienced. And the rat that is left alone can get depressed very, very quickly. Now if you are left in this situation, there are two things you can do. The first one is to go out and get your rat two new friends and it's always good to get two more so you're not left in the same situation. If your older rat does pass away, you've got two rats to keep each other company after that rat passes away. Now most people that intend to carry on keeping rats will keep getting rats towards the end of their older rat's life so they're never left in this situation and they'll keep getting pairs of rats to make sure that they're never left with a single rat. However, some people will decide that they don't want any more rats. Sometimes this is because they do have short lifespans and it's upsetting and they decide they don't want any more. Now if this happens and you are left with a relatively young rat that has a lot of lifespan left, then some people will choose to make the decision to rehome the rat to someone that has other rats in the best interest of the rat's health to make sure that it has the social stimulation that it needs. Other people are reluctant to do this because obviously you have a strong bond with your rat and you don't want to give it up to other people. Now if you ask around, some people will actually foster you some rats that are theirs and you can give them back to them after your rat passes away so that you don't have to keep on keeping rats but your rat is also not left alone. Some people however do find that if their rat has died of old age then the other rat will pass away very soon after that rat has died. Another reason why rats may be kept alone is that they don't get along with other rats. Now even though rats are social creatures, they can be hard to introduce to each other and they can also have issues with other rats where they don't get along. It can make it very difficult to give your rats the friends that it needs and it can also be really discouraging if you are trying to introduce them to other rats. I commend anyone that is trying to introduce their rats to other rats because it's not an easy process. If you are having issues introducing them, I try different methods, different rats and find the one that works the best for you. Keep trying because it is really important for them to have friends but it isn't easy so I definitely commend you if you are currently trying to introduce your rats to new rats. Some people also mistake the rat's natural behaviour of sorting things out between them as aggression. Now rats will assert dominance over each other and the usual rule is if there's no blood then there's no foul. So don't be too scared if you are introducing them and separate them straight away. Let them sort out their differences for a while. If there's no blood being shed then I wouldn't worry too much but it is very important to be persistent and keep trying to make sure your rats can get some friends. Sometimes though you do get rats that are particularly aggressive and territorial, mostly these are male rats and most people will just separate them and not try again, but it's important to try other methods and one thing that can really help is to neuter these rats. If they are being really aggressive and actually inflicting a lot of harm on your other rats then try neutering them. It can be quite an expensive procedure but it's worth it for your rat's health and neutering them reduces their testosterone levels and can actually greatly improve their chances of living with other rats. The last reason why people may keep rats alone is if this rat has an illness. There are some cases where rats do need to be kept alone because they do have an illness, but most of the time this is just a temporary scenario. This could be down to anything from your rat just having surgery or having an infectious disease that may be infectious to other rats so you don't want to be keeping them with them. Or this could be down to a long-term illness where your rat needs to be separated because they are weak and prone to other rats bullying them and making their health worse. Sadly, in some of these circumstances, the illness is great enough that it does cost them their lives and they're not left alone for very long anyway. As this video comes to an end, I'd just like to say if you do have a rat that is by themselves and you are trying really hard to introduce them, thank you so much for trying and I really hope it works out for you. Keep trying other options and don't give up. And if you do have a rat that's living by themselves, I highly encourage you to go out and get them a friend or two because it is going to improve their quality of life to live socially like they are meant to. So that's it for today's video guys, I really hope you do take away the important message here that rats really do need to be living with other rats and that you learnt something from this video. If you want to see more animated videos from me, subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!